In this unit, our topic is social issues. We will focus on poverty, theories, homelessness, and the American dream. By the end of this unit, you will figure out the relationship between theories, homelessness, and the American dream. Identify the global structure of an academic essay, and retell the stories based on keywords. What is poverty? Now let's go to the text. Poverty, theories, homelessness, and the American dream. In 2010, about 46.2 million people were considered poor. The nation's poverty rate rose to 15.1 percent, whereas 14.3 percent of people in America were living in poverty in 2009. Sensky, 2011. That was an increase of 2.6 million people in 2010. In the United States, the federal poverty line, an absolute measure of annual income. Is frequently used to determine who is categorized as poor. Ferris and Ump, Stein, 2008, 2010. Currently, the government defines the poverty line as an annual income of eleven thousand one hundred and thirty-nine dollars for an individual and twenty-two thousand three hundred and fourteen dollars for a family of four. Sensky. 2011. In sociology, poverty can be defined using two terms: relative deprivation and absolute deprivation. Relative deprivation is a comparison between people and social class. With relative deprivation, people are considered poor if the standard of living is less than that of other members of society. Stein. 2006. Absolute deprivation is an objective measure of poverty, whereby people are considered poor because he or she is incapable to meet minimal fundamentals such as food, shelter, healthcare, and material objects. Is it difficult to participate in society for those who live in an impoverished life? Many would say that people living in poverty are behind in our cultural movement, and that they lack the essentials to be on an equal level with the rest of society. Many theories have been applied to the issue of poverty, with controversy on how and whether the poverty problem should be addressed. Homelessness and the idea of the American dream also have an influence on poverty. All these are to be addressed in this essay. Oscar Lewis, 1959, proposed the culture of poverty theory, which argues that the poor are not simply lacking resources, but also have a unique value system. The people in the culture of poverty have a strong feeling of marginality, of helplessness, of dependency, of not belonging, of inferiority. And of personal unworthiness. Stein, 2006, believes it is an entrenched attitude that can develop among poor communities and lead the poor to accept their fate rather than attempt to improve their lot. The theory was later adopted by social scientists and used for American poverty, specifically in inner cities. Since the theory tends to blame poverty-stricken victims for their own misfortunes while disregarding their social conditions, controversy has arisen about it, and the majority have come to agree that a culture of poverty is non-existent. Another reason for the controversy is a just-world hypothesis, which refers to people's tendency to believe that the world is just. And that people get what they deserve. People want to believe that the world, society as a whole, is a fair place to achieve lifetime goals, and that people who contradict the belief ask for their misfortunes. When faced with poverty, 
many believers of the hypothesis become uncaring and disinterested. He or she feels less of a need to start in ways to change society or to lessen the situations of the poor. Another theory that relates to poverty is the conflict theory. Conflict theory is a paradigm that sees social conflict as the basis of society and social change and emphasizes a materialistic view of society, a critical view of the status quo and a dynamic model of historical change, Stein 2006. The theory was originally advanced by Karl Marx and was later adapted and further developed by other theorists, such as Max Weber. Viewed from the conflict theory, poverty is a necessity to keep the levels of stratification where they are to keep the wealthy. Poverty doesn't exist by itself because it is one end of an overall distribution of wealth in society. With the wealth distribution pyramid provided, it turns out that only the wealthiest 1% of Americans control 35.6% of the total wealth of the country, which is more than one third. Census data, 2011. The system the United States has for distributing wealth is capitalist because it is organized so a small portion of the population controls most of the capital used to produce wealth. This ultimately leads to a small portion of the wealth that is divided amongst the rest of the population. The middle class and lower class make up the base of the pyramid and with a majority of the people competing over what's left to them by the 1%, it's inevitable that many people are going to wind up on the short end and living in poverty. Poverty through the conflict theory is a structural aspect of the system and an ongoing cycle that prevents an individual or a group from achieving a desired goal or certain way of living. Homelessness has been and still is a major issue related to poverty in the United States. Approximately 3.5 million people, 1.35 million, 39% of them children, have experienced homelessness in a given year. National Coalition for the Homeless, 2009. Even with this statistic, homelessness is impossible to measure with 100% accuracy. The reason for this is because the homeless remain invisible. The homeless are removed from public view with police escort in certain cases. Another reason the homeless are invisible to a majority of us is due to the discomfort of our feelings. An experiment performed by John Coleman can support that statement. Coleman went undercover as a homeless man for 10 days in the streets of Manhattan. During that time, he made eye contact with people who personally knew him, all of whom just look right past him without recognition. The only people Coleman attracted were the authorities. Homelessness, through a sociological perspective, can be the result of social stratification, which is a division of society into groups arranged in a social hierarchy. Stein, 2006. Having a sociological perspective towards homelessness and overall property will give one the skill to think of possible solutions that concentrate on huge social changes. The American dream has an influence on poverty as well. The American dream suggests that every individual has the possibility of success through hard labor. This statement suggests that impoverished people are lazy since the American dream is only achievable through effort. The American dream also promotes that everyone has the potential to have a successful and happy life. One issue with the American dream is that it does not match reality since it is more of an ideology. The American dream is nothing more than a belief that explains and justifies some sort of social arrangement, in this case America's social class hierarchy, Stein 2006. 
and the American dream does the opposite of what it seeks. It encourages consumerism and valorizes material wealth, which ultimately leaves Americans in debt. With Americans going more and more into debt, there is an increasingly unlikely escape from their position of poverty. This essay describes the theories accounting for poverty and the factors that affect poverty. It shows that poverty is viewed differently in different theories and is influenced by homelessness and the idea of the American dream. As a complicated issue in society, it is necessary to explore further what causes poverty and what factors affect it in society. It will also be interesting to examine how people of different classes view poverty.